All right, in this video, I'm going to show how to decrease the temperature of your laptop or desktop computer while gaming or video editing or any other intensive uh, computer program. Now, heat is a huge issue for computers, right? As they get more powerful, they give off more energy and more heat. So without a superior cooling system, like multiple tubes or multiple fans, you're going to have heat problems. That's just the reality of it. So this is an easy, quick fix to at least decrease the temperature. It's not the end-all, be-all, but it will help in, I'd say, 95% of the cases. It'll at least decrease it. So that's good. So these questions right here are uh, some very important ones that I've gotten over the years on previous videos. Very, very common issues. Does your laptop get insanely hot while gaming such video editing? Does your laptop freeze while gaming? Does it feel hot at the same time? While gaming, do you suddenly drop FPS for no apparent graphical reason? Do you worry about the life longevity of your computer? Is there a burning smell coming from inside your laptop? I've gotten a ton of those questions. So this fix is gonna help you out for sure. Uh, now, before getting started, uh, we're working with the Windows 10 latest updates, specifically past the April creators update, which changed things up a little bit. And you must, must, must install Core Temp. It's a program that monitors uh, the temperature of your CPU. Alrighty. So on the bottom here, I believe I don't have it shown on the video, but you can get the gist of it. Uh, you're going to right click on the little battery button on the very bottom on your taskbar. And you're going to go to power options, which you can see right here. Click on power options. If you can't get to that, if you don't know where it is, type in power options on uh, your search on Cortana. You're going to get to this page right here. Now with the creators updates, it took away the other two options uh, for power saver and energy um, they're in, uh, high performance and power saver mode. So you just have balanced right now, at least for most setups from what I've seen. So right here, you're going to go to change plan settings, go to change advanced power settings. You're going to bring up the advanced settings right here. And before, like I said, you had uh, other options, power saver and high performance. Right now you don't go to processor power management. Go down to max processor state. That's max processor state of your CPU. Right now, I set it down. It's, it's always going to be set to 100% no matter what. Initially, I've already decreased it. So on battery, I set it to 70. doesn't really matter. These are kind of vague numbers right now. You do what works for you. That's why it's very important to download core temp so you can actually see the changes. Now plugged in, I put it at 95%. I think that's a really good place to start. Even putting it at 99% will make some sort of difference. There's a huge difference between it being at 100% and 99%. So I put it at 95. I'm doing great. I'm doing a lot of gaming. This is a new gaming computer. It was getting hot initially, which I knew it would. I just got it and it was set at 100% and it was already getting a little too hot for my liking. Um, Right now, I set, set it at 95 right now. It's perfect for me. But if it starts to get too hot over the years, if I don't want to open it up and clean it, or if I open it up and clean it and notice that, hey, there's no dust, the thermal paste still seems good. Maybe I replace the thermal paste. It still is getting a little bit too hot. You may want to decrease it a little bit more, especially for older netbooks, especially for uh, computers that don't have very good cooling systems this is a key thing. You can set it at, you know, I would feel comfortable setting it as low as maybe 60%, maybe even 50%. It's essentially just uh, decreasing the max amount of power that your CPU can actually use. So it's very simple. You can always set it back to 100. No problem at all, right? So right now my computer is idling at uh, 40, around 40 to 42 Celsius for all the cores, four cores. Um, that's perfect. You don't want to have a, you know, the danger zone, especially while gaming or video editing is going to be anywhere, you know, above uh, 75 Celsius, maybe above 80. Once you get into 80, it's like, Ooh, that's, I'm not, I'm not comfortable with that. 
once you get to 90, there's usually a point where it's actually going to really throttle down uh, your performance. So it's essentially going to be decreasing the plugged in percentage heavily at that point because it's getting too hot and it needs to use less energy because less energy means less heat. So basically, this is going to help out. Try it out. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any other questions. I did a video about this um, probably three years ago, and it's outdated. It's poor quality, and I wanted to address uh, some other issues, some more broad issues in this video. So I hope you appreciate it, and let me know any questions that you had.